Let's talk for a minute about story problems on pages 26 through 28. Story problems are always the worst, aren't they? Um, because now you're not just solving for a problem, you've got to figure out how to set up the equation. And so let me just give some advice to uh, parents, maybe who are homeschooling or, or teachers in a learning center. Um, I would encourage you to sit with your student and kind of give them hints and helps as you're looking at the score key if they get stuck on these because these are really challenging and uh, I don't want to do the entire problem for them here on the video but we'll I'm going to take one problem and let's just again tackle each word see what it means and I need to do this quickly because the battery on my camera is going to die in a few minutes and then I need to uh, go charge it up again but let's uh, take this problem it says the sum of the squares of three positive consecutive integers is 149 sum means I'm going to add them all up square means I'm going to raise it to the second power I need three numbers in consecutive order so the first one will be X the next one is one more than that, x plus one. The next consecutive integer is two. So if we pretend like the first digit is five, okay, then the next digit would be five plus one or six. The next one would be seven, which is five plus two. Does that make sense? Okay, so consecutive integers, we're adding one, adding two, and then we're squaring all of these, okay? So x squared plus and then we'll do x plus one, the quantity squared, plus x plus two, the quantity squared is 149, all right? Basically, we have the hardest part done now. We've turned it into symbols, and now we can do the FOIL method, x plus one, and do it times x plus one. Here we're doing x plus two times x plus two. We're gonna have a lot of terms here, but we just combine the like terms, bring the 149 over, you know, minus 149 equals zero. And then you're gonna have uh, something squared. That's called a quadratic equation. Something squared plus something x, you know, minus a, a variable, I mean a number equals zero, and you can plug into the quadratic equation, which is? negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Plug into that and you will get two numbers and those will be the starting points but you need to choose the positive integer. If you get a negative number and a positive choose the positive integer and then your actual answer is that number and the next number and the next number. Okay, so I'm going to let you finish that one and uh, with a little bit of guidance maybe from your supervisor, hopefully you can finish the other story problems and then you're done with I think one of the hardest paces in Algebra 1.